Hello to this new video. One of the first videos on this channel was on how to fake the deforum effect in ConfUI. The deforum effect really brought me to AI image creation because I loved those psychedelic infinite zooms into strange worlds and I totally want to do it in ConfUI but at this time there was no deforum extension so I created this uh, fake deforum workflow which somehow uses the same kind of method to um, imitate the deforum effect. Now I heard about the native deforum implementation for ConfUI and it's really awesome. So today I want to show you how to use it and uh, give you a little overview what you can do with it and how you can define all the settings and so on. So I will show you a really simple workflow for creating simple images and then dive into the uh, more difficult settings and a more complex workflow where you can make this nice zoom and translate effect, this camera movement and uh, so on. There are different sampler nodes for Deforum. This one here is a more simple and combined method. It has already fields for your prompt included and different other options, but it has some limitations. So for example, it is not able to, it is not able to render your animation set for example, for this I will show you a different kind of workflow which uses a different sampler. This most basic deforum workflow consists of the deforum sampler. You have to load your model. You have to do some basic settings like the width and the height, uh, sampler name, scheduler and prompt weighting and so on. And then you have your output where you can save or preview your image. You have the cage which is really important for the forum. You have your prompt, the positive and the negative. You have the latent type. You can switch this to stable cascade as well. I didn't try that so far. You have your seat as always. You have the way uh, it should be handled after rendering. So I put it to increment. You have your subseat and the subseat strengths, the slurp strengths. You can click this and it will reset the counter. So uh, it will start at zero again. And you have to activate this reset latent if you want to delete everything and start with a new generation, with a completely new image, because otherwise it will take the image from before and will change it slightly so that you have this nice transition effects. So if you want to Start new with a new starting image, uh, click this reset latent. You can automatically enable auto queue so that it will generate forever. You can also do this by hand by enabling the extra options and then auto queue so that ConfUI after each generation will start a new one. So this will uh, generate one image after another. The forum is different than animate diff or stable video diffusion. It will generate image after image and only this and not many images. For each generation step, there will be another round of generation. Let's have a look how this turns out. Let's cue the prompt. I'm using the Juggernaut XL version 8. I will link all the custom notes in the description below, as well as more infos on the forum and how to use it. There's a quite big online community, a Discord server where you can ask for help with the forum specific problems. I can link them below as well. With this workflow you see that there is not really much happening. The magic comes in when we use zoom and translate options. So let's rebuild this workflow and I will show you a more comprehensive type of workflow where you have all the settings you know from Automatic 11. I think most of them uh, one important thing I want to mention here is when I load these notes uh, the first time, there were some strange things happening with the loaded default variables for the settings. I had to change everything here. For example, latent type was like the seat. Uh, the seat was NAN, which means uh, that there was no value. And everything was somehow messed up. So I had to reset everything. So 
setting the cage index to zero, setting the latent type to stable diffusion, setting a random seed, setting the control after generate, subseed, and so on. And then uh, I was able to render before I got strange errors with the input type. I don't know if this is a bug and will be fixed in the future or just something with my own ComfyUI installation, but uh, I think it's a bug or something like this. So yeah, you know what to do. Simply put in the real default values with the arrow or with uh, typing them in and you should be able to generate something. Let's start from scratch. The deforum settings are like a chain. You can chain them and then only need to connect one end of the chain to your specific deforum nodes. So I like to start with the deforum prompt. You see there are lots of nodes. It's really awesome how many nodes got ported from Automatic 11 to Div4 prompt. I like to use some basic diffusion parameters. which give some uh, settings for the noise schedule, the strength schedule, I think. Uh, the strength schedule is one of the most important settings for the forum. If you change this too much, it will destroy everything. And this is really a setting where you can create magic or destroy everything. Yeah, there are more settings. I will do another video with more details in the future. For now, I want to show you quickly how you get most of the settings uh, in and uh, get great results quickly. Let's quickly chain all the nodes. I like to load the deforum animation parameters. This is more a general setting for the animation. You can set it to 2D, 3D, video input or interpolation. For now I want to check 3D. You can tell deforum the uh, max frames you want to generate and the border I like to wrap. This is for translates and zooms where the image would go out of range. So there is no flash at the borders. The forum needs to generate some flash so that the image is complete again. Then I like to load the deform translate parameters. These are the actual translating parameters where you can adjust how the camera will fly through the scene. The translation set is my favorite setting, so I like to set it to 5. This will give us this nice infinite zoom effect. I like to set this to 0. The zoom so far is not working very well for me, so I like to use the translate set feature. When there is a the word schedule in the settings uh, title. It means you can schedule the settings. You can animate this uh, and you can uh, yeah, change it over time. So I will link uh, a page in the description below where you can learn how to use this exactly. There are some keywords, some variables you can implement like T for time, which gives you the actual time or frame. I'm not sure right now. And you can uh, make calculations with this uh, and then change the parameter over time. If you don't have a formula or something, it means like the number five will increase this uh, setting uh, over time five every generation. This will zoom in deeper and deeper like we did in the example I showed at the beginning. Let's keep it like this for now. I like to load the base parameters. Let's use 1024, 1536. Let's keep the other things like it is. These are normal uh, settings you know from your sampler. And then we need the deform iterator node. Here you can set your seat, your method, stable diffusion or stable cascade, control after generate, and so on and so on. Like you know it from the standard deform node. From here we need our deform sampler now. We use the deform case sampler. We need our model. 
we use a standard checkpoint loader, simple model loader. I use a Juggernaut XL version 8 model. I will link this in the description below. We now need a special node. It's called the Forum Blend Conditionings, which is needed to apply all the Deforum stuff to the clip, to the prompt. I like to use Gaussian. Let's connect positive and negative. And we need to connect the deforum frame data, which is which consists of all the settings uh, we changed up here. Then we need a VAE decode. We have to link the VAE from our model to the port. And then we need a preview image. So this is basically it, but Deform needs to know what the frame was before and we need to do some more action to translate the image and so on. So for this we need a Deform frame warp node. This applies all the translation on the image. We need to connect the Deform frame data again and then we need to add some noise. We use the Deform add noise. This is really important to keep the details up. If you don't use enough noise, there will be feedback loops which can destroy your images. They can lose all the details. They can get really bright. They can get really dark. And this can destroy your image. So there is always a need to add some noise. This will use the default noise settings. We can also make our own custom noise settings, but for now we use the default noise settings. Then we need another VAE encode. Connect the VAE from the model to the port again. And then we need to output our latent to the deforum cage so that will be feedback into our sampler it is important that the cage index is the same like the input node create now so cage index is zero we need to feedback it to our iterator node so we need to load this latent we just caged we use a load caged latent node and it is important that it's also set to zero. The latent gets feedback into our iterator node to then get changed a little bit uh, so that we can have our transition. I see we have forgot to connect uh, the forum frame data to our blend conditionings. So let's do this right now. And now we should be able to generate something. Let's try to start the queue. Okay, none type object is not subscriptable. This happens often. So what I do in this case is I like to reset the counter and reset the latent. And I like to try again then. Let's queue. So here we go. Let's generate some more. So you see we are flying into the picture and the picture generates more detail when it comes nearer. We should be able to zoom into this picture infinitely. In the next videos, uh, I will go into more detail for the Deforum uh, extension. will show more options, especially I will dive into the cadence feature of Deforum, which means interpolation. For now, the interpolation is not integrated, but in the next video, I will show you how you use the cadence to slow down your animation to make it more smooth and to make it more stable. Uh, this is done by using the cadence notes. I will show it to you in the next video. One thing I want to mention here is that this prompt window is able to schedule your prompt at frame zero. The prompt should be cat sushi. And if you add a comma, you can set the prompt for frame 100, like dog sushi. And 
that should change the prompt at frame 100 to dog sushi. So you can really change the prompt over time and this uh, really has also a big impact on uh, how nice the transition is in your deforum animation and it brings the real life and action into it if you have a nice changing prompt because there gets more motion into it and more change and that will make your animation much more interesting keep that in mind so you can stack up all the frame and prompt settings and you need a comma only for the prompts before the last one for the last one you don't need a comma there are much more setting notes we can add and much more other notes we can add but um, as with the interpolation the cadence i will describe all those notes and settings in later videos so for now 